Welcome back to the channel everyone and to another game review. My name's Luke and today we're going to be checking out Kanjozoku Game, a car racing and highway driving simulator games, but for the sakes of my sanity I'll just be referring to this one as Kanjo from now on. Now if you saw my recent video regarding the Switch's biggest scammer, and by that I mean publisher Midnight Works, you'll know that I mentioned this game and thus know to avoid it at all costs. On the surface, it's advertised as a reasonably decent looking street racer set in Japan, but as you'll soon see, that couldn't be further from the truth, and both the screenshots, trailer and descriptions are extremely deceiving, especially considering the fact that they mention car meets and show other players, but in fact the game is single player only and there's no multiplayer elements whatsoever. Now as always, you're going to have to excuse the video quality in this one. Like almost all of Midnight Works games, Kanjo can only be played in handheld mode with the Joy-Cons attached, and the touchscreen is used to navigate the menus, which as you can see you're going to have to break out the fucking binoculars for, as it's practically microscopic and a real pain in the dick to actually interact with. To start with though, you're given a Honda Civic to race in, and I'm not big up on my cars, but the game features a shop where you can buy a bunch of classy looking street rides, but you're only given 100k to play with, and some of the pricier ones cost a fortune, which as you'll soon see are really not worth the effort required to unlock them. Aside from the new cars though, you're also able to spend your hard earned cash to customise your whip slapping on some awful body kits and rims, giving it some tasty looking neons and all that lark, and the customisation options are undoubtedly the most impressive thing about Kanjo. You can also tune your car up or swap out its engine to improve its speed and acceleration, but in the end none of this really matters. So the game comes with two game modes, and the first of these are the tracks, of which there are three to choose from. The first two are near identical, while the third features some cherry blossom trees and Japanese pagodas which make for nice scenery, but again the tracks themselves are fucking pointless, as you can't actually perform any races on them, and are limited to just driving or drifting around them and taking in the view. It's worth noting that when I decided to take my red beast out onto the track and give it a spin, I just ended up skidding around like a bastard as though I'd strapped bananas to its wheels and gone fucking ice skating, so the game definitely has some issues with car handling. Now the main game mode sees you take into the streets, or more specifically the Japanese Auto Barn, which in the case of this game is one way only, so if you want to reach any of the races to the south, you're going to have to drive head on into oncoming traffic. Upon reaching the race start point though, marked as red dots on the map, you can then initiate them, and while the eShop description mentions time attack, minimum speed, do not crash and avoid traffic, these are all exactly the same and are essentially point to point races, all taking place on the autobahn, in which you have to reach the end point in as fast as time as possible. The variants on them, which only include the not crashing and maintaining a minimum speed, or any combination of the two, are also easier said than done thanks to other road users and the game's ridiculously sensitive controls, and even when you do manage to complete the races, you're rewarded with a measly sum of cash ranging from 200 to around 4000 yen, so you can see how working towards those more exotic rides is going to be a complete slog. Now aside from this, there's really little else of note to mention. Oh wait, no there is, the game also has some monotonous rave music which loops constantly and gets right on your tits after about 5 minutes of listening to it. And there are also police cars which appear at random and attempt to ram you off the road, which presumably you've got to try and escape from, but failing to do so results in you being fined and losing some of your rank, which again is completely pointless, as is the combo meter which builds as you pass closely by other drivers. All in all though, Kanjo is just another example of a midnight work scam which is sure to sucker a few people into buying it as although the screenshots look decent and for once accurately represent the in-game visuals and the tuning description is relatively accurate, the rest of the eShop listing is filled with complete bollocks. There's no illegal street racing, so you won't feel like an illegal street racer, 
there's no way to load custom libraries, as in fact there's no libraries at all in the game, you'll drift regardless of whether you want to or not, and the car meets and hotspots don't exist either. In short, the game is a complete fucking sham and not worth your time or money. With that said though, hopefully I was able to steer you clear of this one, and like I said, avoid any games from either Midnight Works or their other company, Instant Marketing and Game. And if you want to know more, be sure to check out my video on them, link down in the pinned comment below. Drop a like though if you enjoyed this one, subscribe for more like it as well as regular Switch reviews, and as always, thanks once again for watching, take care of yourselves, and game on. Thank you.